Hello everybody, my name is Swicey and welcome to my channel. Today we're on Lividen's account and we're going to be taking over his entire arena roster uh, because I'm doing live arena driving for him, uh, but nobody's really built all that well. I'll probably end up having to craft a bunch of gear to get um, to get some silver to make this work. Uh, but we'll get once we get there, we'll we'll tackle that. Uh, but let's go ahead. I'm going to clear out all of his champs that I feel like will be important for Arena, and then we'll really get into it. Uh, so for some context, I uh, yeah he he got some Arena driving, and I got on here, decided that the champs were not built for it, and generally needed a bunch of upgrades, and I figured why not just record it, and we can. Uh, we can knock two birds out with one stone, get a video recorded, and get some get, get his account into get his account into order. So yeah. We can take these and now we're gonna build these champs. Um so I'm gonna go ahead and get them built right now. Then we will go ahead and showcase their builds and then take them into live arena with whatever time we have left. Uh, so I'll see you guys as soon as most of those are built. Uh, we'll get kind of an idea of who really matters and who doesn't once the builds are done. And I'll talk more about it then. Uh, but yeah, let's get there. Alrighty guys, so we now have all of our champs built. Let's go ahead, head on over to our champion tags. And we got six. Oh wait, no, we are missing one. Uh, Hedgy, let's, let's throw him in here. So we actually have seven champs built. Let's go ahead and take a look at them and give them a bit of a test run. Uh, so first we have Padrig. He's in a uh, two-piece pinpoint, a speed set, and three-piece protection. Uh, yep. So he's at 352 speed. It's really all that matters. Uh, Five-star intimidating presence. And then we have time intervention with Lore of Steel. Um, then we have our Harima. She is in Savage, one-piece Slayer, one oh two piece Slayer, and then one-piece Stone Skin. Uh, she's at 5.3k defense, 230 speed, 100% crit rate, 290 crit damage, then 200 accuracy. Uh, before she was in like 6 piece Slayer, so the Savage is a big upgrade. And overall, this is probably the best build that we have here. Um, fully booked besides one on the A1, 4 star Nature's Wrath, and then she's going down into Helm Smasher with Retribution. Um, we then have our Mons, who is in a 4 piece Stone Skin, and then one set of Perception. He is at 293 speed, 491 accuracy, fully booked with a 3-star polymorph going down to Eagle Eye. I'm making sure to pick up Blur of Steel, Deterrence, and Harvest the Spare is always a great thing to have there. Uh, then we have Rodos, who is in Savage and Cruel, with one piece of Slayer. He is at uh, 43k HP, 5.2k attack, 203 speed, 100% crit rate, 261 crit damage fully booked with two starboard of the fallen um, and he's going down to helm smasher now i didn't change these and i just didn't bother checking okay let's go ahead and fix these um, so on a rotos i like to go much more of a solo heavy style build um, because often you'll deal with your rotos being one of the few champions on the field and uh, you you'd rather him have the actual ability to solo a team then have a little bit extra damage when everybody else is up and going. Um, so yeah, there is Rotos. Then we have Hegemon, which was just kind of a last minute build thrown together. Um, he's in one piece Slayer, he's in Savage, and then two pieces of Pinpoint. Not everything's leveled, so there's some stats to gain and stuff, but um, this is just very, very baseline for him. 4.7k uh, attack. 100% uh, crit rate, 259 crit damage, 250 accuracy. His accuracy needs to go up. Everything about him needs to go up. Uh, but for how low down we are, this will work just fine. He's fully booked besides two on the A1. He has one star polymorph because uh, I didn't want to swap it for 300 gems. And then I have him going down into Helm Smasher. He has Master Hexer and Sniper. Um, then we have Baron. He is in a uh, six-piece Slayer set uh, because really we're only focused on his A4. Now the A1 is really strong and won't really benefit from this build, but it was just kind of what gear we had laying around. You saw how slow Rotos was. Um, so this was my next best option. He is at 5.1k attack, 219 speed, 108% crit rate, and then 276 crit damage. 
uh, fully booked and then he's going down into this is the wrong masteries i didn't do these let's go ahead and fix these um so if we're looking at him we need to make sure to pick up the attack the crit damage shield breaker ruthless ambush cycle of violence kill streak helm smasher uh, make sure to pick up both of those up and then i guess we could uh, soak fury isn't awful in case we don't go first and uh, maybe freya keeps us alive or something uh, i guess we'll just focus more on getting that one counter attack and then um, and i do like a cycle of violence um, so yeah there is that and then finally we have freya who didn't get the best gear uh, because we had very few speed pieces um, so yeah she is in pinpoint uh, three piece protection and then righteous uh, she's at uh, 42 khp 4.4k defense 292 speed and then uh, 294 accuracy not booked yet sadly no mastery i mean no blessing yet either and then these are the masteries we went with going down into eagle eye making sure to pick up lore of steel and lasting gifts and then finally we actually do have arbiter up as well um she is in a a righteous set a three-piece protection set and then a speed set um she is at 328 speed um no speed glyphs by the way so a lot of these builds could get a lot better uh, basically fully booked besides one of the a1 three-star intimidating presence and then we're going down into time intervention making sure to get lure of steel as we do and that is all eight of the champs we built um so let's go ahead and let's do one or two live arena fights and then we'll call it here um, i know this video isn't going to be super long uh, we did kind of rush through things so maybe we'll do a few extra uh, but yeah so hopefully we can start winning some fights because i did one fight and it just wasn't pleasant um, so yeah let's go armands of course because armands is broken uh beforehand uh, armands wasn't in stone skin so getting him into stone skin was a massive massive upgrade we are dealing with a pretty solid account here, actually. Uh, so we'll be... We may be picking Freya into... Freya into Hegemon. I could see, be, I could see being a decent option. Uh, depending on if they go full speed or not. Uh, Hegemon just gives us that possible speed counter. Okay, so yeah, he's going to be ba he's gonna be banking off of this... Um, off of this rat here so with them all being negative affinity for our um for our rotos we're gonna go with the baron and hegemon now we don't have a good lead which is gonna suck if they because they're gonna ban our mods uh, but we have plenty of damage and uh, padrick does kind of just do everything that we need when it comes to speed so we'll go ahead and throw in that 33 percent extra attack helps out hegemon a good bit um helps out baron of course and hopefully we win this one i'm excited to see how the builds do because uh, i wasn't too sure on some of them but seeing what is there now i'm not too worried about it All right, see if we can, there we go, decent damage. Now we should cut in, no, we didn't, oh, that sucks. Okay, actually, who do we want to, I guess we're just gonna ally attack here. Now this, <laughs> dang, that's raw smacks, okay, welp. Not too much you can do about that. If a Taras is good, a Taras is good. I guess it's up to if we can get enough um if we can get enough stuff going. If we were to get a turn here, we probably would have won, but I imagine we'll die to the A2. Yeah, we died. Man, that was that was actually really close. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with uh, the builds and how they did there. Now let's let's run it back again. I um, mean, then we'll probably take it into classic arena just so we can get an actual better showcase of them. Uh, but I do like to see how they do here. I imagine this will be a pretty easy fight, considering that this person is only level fifty-seven. 
not a not a not a very fair level gap here at all really All right. Yeah, I mean, they definitely got some champs going for them. So we'll see how we do. All right. Uh I mean, nothing too crazy here. Uh, we'll just have to ban the UDK and hope that... I mean, even if they don't... They'd probably just get rid of Armands. Yeah, this isn't, a, this isn't a fight that we could lose. They had some decent luck, though. I mean, a Baron and a Crixie at level 57, I'd be elated. I'd be one happy camper over that one. Now this is this just feels like it's gonna be a nothing burger of a fight though. I mean, we didn't even go with the speed lead. Oh my gosh, look at that! Look at these speeds! Holy crap! Yeah, almost one shot. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna take this into arena uh, because it's gonna be a lot of that. It's gonna be a lot of either really really solid accounts or accounts that are that aren't even anywhere in the game yet. Uh, so let's find let's find a couple fights here that I feel like are genuinely strong enough. Um, this one could end up being too strong actually, but why not give it a go? So we'll throw in Armands with Patty, Harima, and uh, Freya. I do like myself some Freya. I will go by Champion Tag Arena. There she is. Now, uh, of course, Hajimon is a great option into this, so I'm not I'm not trying to pick the absolute best options. I'm just trying to pick. Um, did I actually get the? I didn't realize I got the actual stack of um, intercept. Okay, guess I misread the, what I built on her. <laughs> All right, let's drop the let's drop the cleanse plus TM fill uh, and all that fun stuff. Let's try to get rid of this Galathir because, well, Galathir is very strong. Overall, I mean, we get that Provoke out. Freya's doing exactly what I thought she would. An amazing champion. She she pairs very, very well with Harima. Um, let's spend just a few gems here trying to find an actual fight. Um, this one, Hegemon's annoying, but I don't think he's, like, game-defining in this fight. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Dang, okay. Let's, uh... We could run that back, but I'm not too worried about it. Tronda did smack. This one's decent. Good to run. Uh, let's get rid of the... Duchess. I could have gotten rid of the Necrit. But again, I'm not too worried about doing, like, the perfect things. I just... I want to get some decent um, showcases. Let's see what we can do to the Taras. Not enough. Let's just say that. Not enough. So close, actually. Very, very close. And then... Um, can we drop a another turn meter fill? See if we can continue to just break down the Taras's defense. He's going to try to break down our attack, but it really doesn't matter. Let's uh, get back in here. And yeah, I mean, this team is just very safe. You got a whole lot of protection from Freya, from Harima. Um, Padraig is actually doing a lot for us, giving us those heals, giving us those cleanses. As Alongside um, Freya's cleanses, it's overall a fantastic Fantastic setup we have going on here. Um, now we should give a, give the other champions a bit of a showcase. Uh, the ones that we don't have in this team. Uh, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's find a 
decent team. Oh, this one's not awful. Oh my gosh. All the... <laughs> Gotta love when the game just doesn't want to work right. And then shows all of the stuff later on. Uh, so yeah, we'll bring in... So we'll just bring in the champions that we didn't bring into the other fight. Which I don't think is how we should exactly split up the teams by any means. I think if anything, we could put Freya with the Arbiter actually. I think that would be the best option. Oh, are we going to get wiped here? Oh man, yeah, we got wiped. Okay. We'd have to hope for an extra turn. Got feared actually. That's the opposite. Okay, let me do what I was actually thinking would be the best option. Um against this one's fine so if we took freya alongside um freya alongside baron i think would be really solid and then he hegemon could fill in here or even freya alongside rhodos uh just to help rhodos get all the extra turns he could possibly use um i think freya in any speed team is fantastic I do think it's better with the Harima, but of course you're not always going to get your Harima in live in live arena, so you got to bring in some other options. Freya being an amazing one. So even if we, okay, even if we do die here, so and we'll actually give him the chance. Oh, okay, crap. Freya, <laughs> Freya died before. Um, for my rotos here so man this isn't the, the showcase isn't going the way i was hoping uh, i don't want to i'm not blaming the builds it's just kind of how it works out um when rotos is passive so maybe you don't want to pair freya with rotos do keep in mind i've never used freya before so a lot of this is more theory crafting than ever actually getting to test it this is my testing right here this is first time testing um so we do do keep that in mind uh, let's drop that down Okay, see that when when Hegemon decides to go ahead and knock everybody out, that's always fun. Let's find one more, and uh, we'll we'll just kind of use what I think is best. We'll try to find the best team I can I can see throughout any of these. Uh, uh, that one's not bad. None of those are super solid. Okay, uh, this one seems pretty strong. Let's see if this is, let's see if we can fight this one. Um, so again, we're gonna run it back with the uh, we're gonna run it back with the Padrig, Armands, um, Harima, and Freya. I think this is a very very strong core team, and something that will probably be picked in almost every one of the uh, every one of the live arena fights. Get some get rid of his turn meter. Um, go ahead and drop a decent shield. Increased defense. Uh, let's let's get rid of the UDK. Well, I guess we don't get to. I will just. Dang. Okay. <laughs> None of what I'm trying to do is working right now. I'm sorry, guys. No, nothing of what I'm trying to do is going how I'm planning it to go. This is, this has been pretty funny. Yeah, Harima's actually putting out some great damage. Really happy with her build. We get provoked. Be great if we could land some provokes, though. Um, it, this is without Freya being booked as well. We do need to keep that in mind. Um, there's a lot that she could gain. Alright, come on. Let's get through this. ally attack into the armands and hopefully we can actually break through there we go um let's i guess we'll try to break her defense a little bit um and then this will probably be the final fight guys uh it should be a decent one to end on as long as we don't just get wiped by the armands soloing our entire team which is a very real possibility all right there we go we're starting to build up our passive on Harima up against uh, one the Armands. I think his defense has probably dropped a good bit, um, and then some of the other champs. So yeah, let's let's try to speed this up a little bit. Um, see if we can get rid of Marishka here. Come on, drop a provoke. Awesome. 
ally attack into the Armands, and that is the team basically handled at this point. Hundred and forty six K. That is I mean that's really solid against the UDK. Now it it was him as a sheep, and I'm not sure what that does to a champion's stats, but I think we can all agree 114k isn't that small of a hit unless we're in Hydra. There we go. All right, guys. Well, that is Lividen's uh, Live Arena slash Arena Takeover. Um, all of the builds I'm pretty happy with. And if we were to compare to how they were beforehand, I think everybody got a really significant boost. And overall, I am pretty sure he'll be happy with how things turned out. So if you guys did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy watching me fail multiple times within the Arena and Live Arena, be sure to drop a like, consider subscribing, really helps out the channel outside of that i really appreciate y'all for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out guys